Right, okay, in today's video what we've got now is fixing a Xbox 360 pad with drift on the right stick. It might look alright. And everything might even look clean, but the um, pad drifts to the left. So when you leave your character alone it slowly goes left or your screen spins round or whatever you try and do with it. Now this was um, new with my Xbox 360 years and years ago and when we was playing fight night I think um, in one night we might broke this stick and forgive it um, forever drift so what we're going to do today years and years later we're going to change it um, I've got a new stick here this is from the right side of another 360 pad but this one works fine So we're going to swap it out. So what we're going to do next is take the screws out. You can still see this has got the seal over this screw. Undo these screws, take them out and try and fit that. Uh, as you can see that has quite a few pins. And you need to solder every one of those. So instead of um, boring you by taking the screws out, we'll do the one, two, three and they're out. And you just have to break it open. They kind of come apart, so if you um, hold them down and try to open them around the side, hopefully your buttons won't fall out too far. There we go. Break it open. And lift this up. And you'll see if we can see. Everything comes away. Notes will fall out, and that will be left there. So, if you've done it nice, they won't fall out. If you do it the other way, all of this stuff will fall into the pad, and you'll have to reset it up. As for this bit, you'll see what motors have kind of popped out. Now, you can remove this. Out. Circuit boards there. Try not to break the little wires off the motor. I pull these off. If these are original sticks, these sticks will be grey. Grey sticks. Now you pull the wire from here. Try not to get the wires caught around. Motors are just held in by these little tabs. And hopefully you can pull out. Nope, that's coming off the actual bloody board. Um, need something to get them out with. One out, one to go, so I'll just put the screwdriver in and push the little tabs in. These little tabs, which keep it in ridiculously firm compared to how small they are. And just wiggle it out. There we go. It's coming out. That's it. Done. That's much harder than it looks. So now you've got both motors out. Now remember we're going to face this way. And this is going to be the one we want to replace the left pad. And you have to unsolder. Now the thing is with this, you have to unsolder a lot. It's there, it's caught in there. Hmm. Okay. Flip it over and it's all plastic. Flip it back over and it's all locked. So with, with these you need to take out these three here. 
So I'm in the desoldering, you need to add solder. But first, just to make sure it gets loose. That's a bit better. You'll see they're nicely been removed, kind of, not 100%. Right then, open that tab with a little screwdriver. These should now wiggle through. And that should come loose. So that's what we've removed, these three pins for the switch. So you've got to be careful not to break it. Do not try and remove the switch by removing the trigger and everything because it's pretty hard to get back in. Doesn't really like to be done like that. Also to try not to burn up when um, you solder it back in. Next you have to undo every single one of these. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 different solder points to unsolder. So flux them up and start unsoldering them, and we'll do that in a moment. I don't know how well I'm going to get on with these, but let's try. Um, do that putting solder on first. Trying to breathe them fumes. Right, let's see how far we got. Oh my god, done it in one go. I just need to tidy those up. There's the um, faulty. Let's see, it's grey. So we're replacing this one with the another grey one. We mark this with a cross. So we don't get them mixed up. Get another grey one. Now these can go in left or right. Doesn't really matter little bit of um, stuff and clean it up a bit. Right, next thing to do is add a little bit more flux. I know we go flux crazy here, but we like, we like the smell, yeah, not really. <laughs> right, put a bit more flux in. Get some soldering wick. Now, Soldering work isn't 100% necessary, but it does tidy up quite a lot. Got a nice lot of... I know you're not meant to do this, because it's meant to have really fluxed solder wick, but we like to do that. Mm -hmm. Put the iron on the wick. And move the wick. Okay, so the wick now has got some solder on it, and they're all cleaned. Right, next, uh, clean those off with some isopropanol. Got a massive pot of isopropanol now, because it's so handy. You don't want this much flux on it when it's together because it'll probably start rotting away.
Okay, so now it's had a quick clean and all the, all the ports are ready to go. We get the one which isn't the faulty one. Um, so turn it over. It's got a diagram on this so you can see where it's meant to go. Right, put the new joystick in. It should, with a little bit of force, but not too much, pop right in. Check to see if all the pins are in, which you can see they are. Right now on the nice clean board. Reflux of pins. I say some people do it without the flux, but I found what if you don't use flux, you burn up your board. Um, the flux don't, the solder don't stick. It gets too hot, burns out the pins, burns out the pads, and all sorts of horrible things happen. With loads of flux, even though it's messy and smelly, you can actually avoid all your burning. So <laughs> I don't know what's best. But I would advise use flux. We've got some proper soldering wire for the job. It's like really thin stuff. I'll leave the link in the description. Let's see. Whoops. That's one of the main pads on there. And then just go around to do the rest. Well, we've got kids crying, we've got people training their dog today, that's what you heard, next door neighbour. Luckily we've got a new next door neighbour and takes much better care of his dog now. Lovely little thing, it is. The old next door neighbour has disappeared, had the feast and everything and gone. So yeah, mm. all good news round here now. Still got the screaming brat kids. Still got the noisiness of a dog. You see these ones? Nice day to do soldering. Okay, so now they're done. Look at that burn mark's going away, you see that? See this burn mark here? No, they're all okay. Now this next thing to do is put the trigger back on. Line up the pins. Line up the clips. Lock it in place. Put that back over and then you'll see those pins are sticking through. Now it's time obviously for you got it more flux. More flux. I've got to be quiet today because you know I don't want to be seen like a madman talking to myself. It's gonna be quite a long video if I don't edit it. If it's short you know it's edited. As you can see it's all blackened at the back of the board there. That's just flux. Give them a clean. Now as you can see, they're nicely soldered. Not too much solder on them, but there's enough. That's going to be held in place now. It's not going to come out. It's going to be quite straight. Just got to put the pad together and test it to make sure the drift is gone. And that's it. Done. Now this should have stopped the drift. I'm going to put it together and we're going to test it. I don't want to see the screws go back in, do you? Well, you're not going to. Okay, see upstairs in a minute. Hey, that's an offer. 
Okay, so now we're done. Uh, let's um, check out the pad. Just record this with the old bandy cam. Um, okay, controllers, uh, properties, hardware, all seems to be good. And we can right click it and go control settings to calibrate. Um, just click that and go to here. As you can see, it's not working about controls are working. Hats, buttons. Uh, let's double check the other thing what we've got, which is the um, controller test. I'll show this skip before in one of the other videos what I used. Right stick's working fine. Left stick's working fine, and center and back again. I think the, um, the drift now is gone. All buttons working correctly. Yeah, trigger buttons. Yeah, all done. So, success on the pad. Well, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you again in the next one. And uh, that's all for now.